Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max, we have 2008 Nissan Armada SE, desert color on the outside with black leather interior, has a factory DVD player, has a uh, factory front and rear bumper sensors, power tailgate, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It is original paint, never been in an accident, has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website at vehiclemax.net. Car has um, four wheel disc brakes, matching Michelin tires that are not new but they're still in great shape, factory running boards, factory roof rack, and a bunch of other stuff that I'll get into in just a minute. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no bird droppings in the top surfaces. Has no major touch ups or scratches of any kind. By the way, if you're watching this video in Autotrader, let me tell you, it will cut off at three minutes. If you want to see the full 20 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Okay? The car is also equipped with the uh, heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection there ready to go. These are those parking sensors that I was mentioning to you about. Now, not only does it have them in the rear bumper, but it has them as well on the front bumper. Here's the uh, camera that we'll be looking out of in just a few minutes. It is also flex fuel capable. And what that means is you can put that E85 flex fuel, which costs about 30 to 40 cents less per gallon. That'll save you some money on that. Uh, let me also tell you that we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. That we are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at bbb.org. Just punch in vehiclemax.net. If you have any questions, my name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, check out one of the many options in this vehicle. Let's unlock it. And I'll get that power tailgate open for you. All you do is press in the switch down here and hold it. The uh, turn signals will flash and the tailgate opens. And you can close it the same way by using the remote right here or you can close it by coming to this switch that's over here, okay? Or you could do it from the front. So there's a number of ways to close it. We'll get back into the rear of the vehicle for in just a minute. In the meantime, let's go ahead and close it again, show you how it goes again. Hold the switch, see how the tail lights flash, and the tailgate closes nice and quiet. Okay, let's move on to the front and let's get it started. Now the tailgate is closed, let's go ahead and lock it. I'm gonna put the key in my pocket and I'll uh, show you how this intelligent key works, okay? Car is locked. Um, uh, you're, when you're next to the vehicle, the car feels that the key is in my pocket. So, I mean, if you're standing this far from it, it will not work. You have to be standing within probably about two feet or so. This switch right here on the door handle, there's one on the driver's door handle and one on the passenger front door handle. You press it once to open the driver door only and quickly thereafter to open all three doors. So let's do that. One and two. And now all four doors are open. Okay. Um, it's got, uh, okay, so it's got the black leather interior. And before I sit down, let me pan over the seat. Okay. Car has no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, steering wheel, uh, carpeting, or anything like that, okay? Um, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was definitely a non-smoker. We've got curtain side airbags here on the front post, as well as curtain side airbags here on the middle post. And this particular unit has also curtain side airbags on the seats. Okay, all right, so now let's get inside of it, get it started. The door panels are all solid black with a factory carbon fiber type trimming and I'm going to try to focus in so you can see it. It's very sharp looking and it's actually all over the place. Uh, it starts here, not all over the place, but here in the door panel, around the AC vents in here, and then again uh, up, up around here 
Uh, well, actually, up here, this is more like a silver, like a dull silver. Uh, and then the uh, titanium starts over there and continues onto the door. It's very sharp looking. Okay, um, uh, of course, the vehicles are equipped with uh, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. The two front power windows have that A on them, and that stands for automatic, meaning they're one touch. Press and hold, really quick release, and uh, they go all the way down on their own. And same thing for up. Okay, power door locks, power mirrors, tilt wheel down here. Uh, here's the other switch I was telling you for the power tailgate, power adjustable pedals, and now I was telling you before about the parking sensors. Well, this vehicle has parking sensors in the front, okay? As you can see there, there's four of them as well. Okay, uh, now let's finally get into the interior and uh, get it started and show you all the options, okay? So remember, we approach the vehicle. The car was locked, we press the switch on the door handle here, we open it, key still in our pocket, come inside of it here. Now the car is going to sense the key in my pocket and it's going to ask me to step on the brake. Well, actually, let's see here, you're sensing the key right there. See how it flashes there and it shows the key in there? Well, now what you do is you um, step on the brake and there's a knob here and you turn it like if it was a key. By, but never having taken the key off your pocket. Let's lower that uh, stereo, I mean the stereo, that AC so you can hear me talk. One more notch. And, uh, okay, the thing, the DVD is ready to go. Maybe I should show you that before we get into the uh, front here really quick. All right. And there we go, that's our factory DVD that's playing a Tom and Jerry uh, movie here. And to get it going, you just gotta press the uh, play button here on the remote. Takes a second to go, but there it goes. And then those numbers will disappear in just a second. Okay. All right, um, let's move back onto the front. There's our, um, there's our remote right there. And then this unit, by the way, just so you know, this unit is uh, two passengers in the front, three in the middle, because we've got the full bench here, and also you can put three in the back, so we can fit a total of eight passengers in this unit, not just seven, all right? Okay, uh, before I sit down, power seat, which slides up and down, but all, I mean back and forth, but also up and down, power recliner, okay? And uh, besides the power seat, we also got power adjustable pedals, and I guess I'll do that before I sit down as well. See if you can see them there, see how they move back and forth. Okay, and uh, this is something you're going to use if you got a real tall driver or a real short driver. Sometimes putting the seat forward is just not enough, or pushing it, <coughs> excuse me, all the way back is not enough, okay? Uh, here okay sometimes that's just not enough you want to be able um, you want to be able to uh, uh, get that extra um, uh, room with the legs or bring the, pe uh, the pedals further forward so everybody can reach okay um, we've got dual climate control what does that mean well right now as you can see the driver's side is to 60 degrees and so is the passenger side well I'm going to change that to let's say uh, 73 degrees and it did not affect the driver's side. So we can have two different levels of comfort, okay? The way everybody's happy. On the left-hand side of the car, will blow 60. On the right-hand side of the car, 73. And the rear row passengers can control their own temperature as well by sliding this wheel over here, okay? And they control the fan flow. It can be off also, as you see there, there's on. And then here you can control the level of, of where it flows. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back to 60 because it's a very warm day today. Uh, as you can see right there, the uh, time is uh, 6.30 in the afternoon and uh, it is 99 degrees outside. And not only do we have a display for temperature, but on the rear view mirror there's a digital readout, which is a compass and it lets us know that we're pointing or heading in the east direction. We got these uh, three little houses there and those are what we call the home link. That's the program your garage door or gate at your complex where you live at. And um, you can program up to three gates. And once you program it, the car will remember it. You won't ever have to have the remote with you. 
it'll be uh, all you do is when you approach the gate that you want to do, you do either gate one, two, or three. Okay. Um, this. Why don't we listen to our? Uh, I'd say we listen to our Bose stereo sound, uh, sound system. What do you think? Let's switch it over here and put uh, the FM. Disable the movie, movie momentarily. Uh, we can, we can find something a little better than that. Where's my wheel? Here we go. As you can see, I can control the uh, volume of the stereo here, up or down. Okay, you can power it down by just pressing here. It turns it off altogether. And mode is to go from AM, okay, to FM, or to your CD. Okay. Looks like we got a CD in there saved. Okay. And uh, right here, we're moving back to the DVD, as you can see there and you can move to XM. This vehicle is equipped with the XM satellite stereo. Uh, right now it's on a preview because the subscription is not active. So if you want to be able to have your, um, uh, if you want to sign up for the subscription, all you gotta do is call Sirius Satellite and, uh, and get your sub subscription going. There's a ton of channels. Uh, uh, there's, um, there's the music, 80s, 90s, 70s, uh, there's comedy channels, news, international stuff, really cool. Okay, um, uh, let's move on. We already talked about the stereo quite a bit. Did forget to talk to you about this little teeny hole down there, and that's our input for what we call the auxiliary, okay? And the auxiliary is simply connecting your iPod to your uh, Bose stereo sound system so you can play your own music that you have preset right on your awesome sound system right here in the car. There's also power outlets here. Okay, there's one here, one on this side, and uh, that's so you could uh, for a cigarette lighter or a cigarette lighter adapter. Got the towing haul mode, and what that is for is in case you're towing a boat or a trailer, it'll make the transmission shift differently in order for you not to uh, burn out your transmission. It'll get it to uh, disable the overdrive and also to shift it a little different so it adjusts for the extra cargo load. Okay. Leather wrap steering wheel, and I'll pan around that nice and slow so you can see that it is in excellent shape with no stitching coming apart, no scratches or cuts or tears. You know, excellent shape. Matter of fact, if you just looked at the steering wheel in this car, you would say there's no way this car's got more than 20,000 miles. So you can appreciate that the previous owner took really, really good care of it. Okay, uh, all right, um, uh, the car has uh, 58,000. 857 miles it is running right now and please keep an eye on the left hand dial that's our tachometer I'm gonna rev it matter of fact let's put one of the windows down so you can hear it and as I'll show you the one touch that's what I mean by one touch you don't have to hold the switch so let's hear it now all right and the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that it is actually running you see they're idling and uh, there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no anti-lock lights, or anti-lock brake service engine soon light, no uh, um, tire pressure monitoring issues, nothing. The car is running in perfect shape. No issues whatsoever. It's not overheating. It's running at the perfect uh, temperature. So is your, uh, your uh, voltmeter there. Volt or amp, I forget. I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, obviously we got an automatic transmission here. Uh, underneath this cover here, which is silver, it's like a dull silver, looks like a, like a like steel kind of like. Just tap on here, and there's your cup holder. Down here is more storage, but if you have a large cup, you can uh, place like one of those, let's say McDonald's Burger Monster cups. You can stick it in there, and uh, it'll work make sure better here, because over here it's not very deep, you know. So down here you can put the larger cups. Um, get some storage up here. And this is where you're going to put your DVD in order to play it right on your DVD screen up there. And we've got a couple of headphones here. Alright, you already saw the, um, 
the remote back there. Uh, I think we're pretty much done up here. I think I've shown you everything there is to show you up here. Uh, the tilted wind, the, the tilted um, wheel is manual. You just push, and then uh, it's hard to do with one hand, but you can. Uh, I'll, I'll try to see if I can lay this down here. I don't even know if you can see it from here. Uh, let's see here. Nah, that's gonna fall there. Anyway, you um, you pull this lever here, and then you can make the, the steering wheel tilt up and down. That's about as best as I can do with one hand. I don't have very long fingers. Okay. Um, another thing here, you got uh, you get a pocket here for your sunglasses. Uh, map lights that you can turn on all the time, or they'll work only when the door is open. I'm gonna open the door now. Okay. And you can put them off, and we always keep them off in case the customer. Uh, leaves the door halfway open that way they don't kill our batteries uh, vanity mirrors that are lit with an extra extension to block out the sun even more so in case the visor is just not enough same thing on the driver's side up here we got more pockets and more pockets and even more pockets so this is the pocket king of a car okay um Let's go ahead and turn it off. Remember, the key is still in my pocket. It's never left my pocket. When I go leave the vehicle now, as long as the car is in park, all I do is turn this knob over and we're good to go there. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the middle row section and talk about that a little bit. Probably going to speed things up a little bit as we're getting up there in a minute. So I want to be able to finish up and not get cut off. Okay, uh, the rear door panels are the same. The carbon fiber trimming here from factory, it looks gorgeous. Uh, all solid black here, nice little chrome accent here, same thing as in the front. Uh, dark gray handle, pockets on the side here. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. And what does that do? Well, if you don't want your child to be able to open the door, because he's kind of crazy or whatever, and you're worried about him while you're driving, you're opening the door, well, you can um, press the, slide this over, nice and easy with your finger, and that disables this, hand, this handle completely. The only way to open the door is from the outside, okay? Now, if you have an adult coming in, it's not a big deal. You just switch it back, and the adult can use now this handle, okay? Again, uh, two in the front, three in the middle, and three in the back. That makes a total of eight. So we have a full bench here. Looks like the previous owner of this vehicle did not have kids because uh, there's no baby car indentations. When you lay a car seat that's made out of plastic in the same spot, it stretches out the leather and leaves a mark of where it was. This is in perfect shape here. There are baby car seat anchors here two on each side, two here and two on the far seat over there and that means that in here there's a metal um, loop that you can grab onto the seat so that uh, it can stay uh, still. If you don't have a middle row passenger you can just flip this down and then I have a cup holder here and you can put your armrest here. Okay, pockets right here nice and tight. That's another evidence of no kids. Kids love to stick their feet on here and bend this out and sometimes even rip it. Okay. Um, uh, I get nothing against kids, I just know what they do. Uh, we get AC vents here in the middle, another power outlet here for your cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter adapter, it's a little dark, a little hard to see if here. Um, cup holder that pops out, oops, there we go. And uh, up here, well, of course, our DVD, and then we got our controls here for the rear row AC as well as controls for the stereo. Set of map lights here in case the middle row passengers want to read something. Get your AC vents here for the middle row passengers. So they got these here as well as these down here. And the rear, pa rear row passengers, happy campers too, they got their own AC vents back there. And up here we got more map lights. And uh, this is the mag daddy of the pockets. This is the largest pockets it's got, probably for magazines and stuff, you know, newspapers maybe. Um, give you a look at the back row seating here. Very nice, very clean, excellent shape. Okay. Uh, by the way, it's got a factory floor mats, and then as you can see, there's no bleach stains anywhere on the carpeting. It's nice and clean. Let's move on to the rear. Now, to open the tailgate, you don't need to use a remote or push any button. As long as the car's on lock, you can just pull here and step back. So you don't have to like just tug on that, and it sets off the switch. Let them know. It lets you know that you want to open it. Now these seats here fall completely flat onto the ground and make this an even level in case you want to go into cargo mode and as you can see they're independent of each other this is like a 
like a 60-40 seat, okay? So, uh, so you could do one side only if you want to, and that will lay flat completely. I don't want to push it down because I want to be able to reach it from here. And uh, while, you know, for example, you want to put some load stuff here, but you still need the seat here, you can have a person sit here and use this left-hand side for cargo, okay? Uh, we got like a cargo cover here so you don't damage the uh, carpeting underneath here. Okay, and this storage over here with our cargo net and our tools. All right, again, we got more power outlet here. Close the gate. We can just place close here and move out of the way quickly. You got time. It's not like it's going to bash you in the head. Okay, we got tinted windows, uh, privacy glass in the rear. Same thing, door panels are all the same. We're going to put the pedal to the metal because we're running out of time now. Um, I'll show you how to get entry onto the rear, and it's the same thing on both sides. It's very easy. All you do is up this one here you use to recline the seat to however you like the comfort. This one here is solely to gain access to the rear. You pull this here, drop, and look how easy it is. Okay, all you guys just pull the handle and it's very easy to get back lots of access, even for a large adult. Okay? To close it, you do it manually, it's not hard at all. I'm doing the video here, one hand only. So if I can do it with one hand, it means that like an eight-year-old can do it himself, okay? Uh, all right, let's move on to the uh, passenger front here, and we'll conclude this video. Now, remember, I've got the key in my pocket, so I forgot to tell you how to exit the vehicle and how we can do to close it, but let's pretend the vehicle is locked, and you're with a lady friend, okay? And uh, if you want to let her in this door, you still don't have to take the key out of your pocket. All you do is press the switch just like you would do on the driver's side and once you press it, if you press it once, you open this door only. If you press it uh, twice, you open all four doors. And then you can, op once you do that, you can open it and let your lady friend in, okay? Or your male friend, whatever your preference is. Um, dual power seats and power recliner. Let's take a look at our glove box here. Our owner's manual is right in there. Okay, and uh, let's go over, let's finish up here. By the way, no damage, no dents, no nothing. The car is in immaculate condition. You're not going to come here and be disappointed. All the tail lights and headlights are nice and clear. They're not cracked or scuffed or damaged in any way. No cracks on the grill. No corrosion or damage on the, um, on the emblems or the mirrors or the chrome handles. Nothing like that. Okay, so now let's talk about leaving the vehicle. Forget about the fact that the window's open, that's got no bearing on how we use the intelligent key that has never left my pocket, okay? I'm ready to go, and I want to lock the car. Two ways to do it. Press this once, and the entire car is locked. If you happen to walk away from the car because you're in a rush and you go, oops, I forgot to lock it, you don't need to come back to here. All you've got to do is reach into your pocket, and as you walk away, go like that, and the car is locked. Okay, but really, literally, the key never has to leave your pocket, which is one neat thing, especially in, right now it's locked. Press once for the driver door, and now for the other four doors. So if you're one of those guys that love to lock the keys inside the car, you're going to have a very tough time doing that with this vehicle. Anyway, that's going to do it for our video. I want to go ahead and thank you for watching it. If you have any questions, feel free to call me, 305-218-5462. I'll remind you we're located at 20, sorry, 3200 Northwest. 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142. Open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6. Saturday, 9 to 5. Always closed on Sundays. We have financing available for all types of credit. We have excellent rates for, good, for, for really good credit. And if your credit is not so good or is really bad, we have financing for that type of credit as well. Carry a lot of SUVs in stock. Armadas, QX56, Suburbans, Tahoes, Hummers, Cadillac Escalades. Feel free to come in and visit us. Thank you very much for watching a video at VehicleMax.net.